Hi, we're playing Elder Scrolls Online. This is part two. I'm playing a Khajiit Dragon Knight from the Eldmeria Dominion, and we've found ourselves in this um, terrible place, the Wailing Prison, and we're trying to find a way out. The Prophet's cage should be just ahead. Quickly now, we haven't much time. All right, 
The good news is we made it here in one piece, and the Prophet looks unharmed. Now the bad news. It's going to be up to you to keep him safe and get him back to Tamriel. I'm not going with you. I probably should have mentioned this before, but it never seemed like the right time. There's a trick to opening the cell. The only way for a prisoner to leave is for another living soul to take their place. I need to swap places with the Prophet. Believe me, I wish there was, but I don't see anyone else here with a beating heart, do you? If Molagbal isn't stopped, he'll destroy everyone and everything we've ever loved. The Prophet chose you for a reason. Get him to safety. I'll be fine. There are magical locking devices on either side of the cage. You need to deactivate both of them so I can begin the transfer. Once it's done, get moving. The Prophet will know where to go, but he'll need your eyes and your protection. Give myself that the Prophet might be free! Thank the Divines you are safe. There is that at least. Lyra sacrificed everything that we might go free. Her sacrifice must not be in vain. I wish that were possible, but I promise you, once we escape Cold Harbor, we will find a way to rescue her together, Vestige. That is the name I have given you. You are but a trace of your former self, a soulless one, an empty vessel that longs to be filled. It is as the scrolls foretold, but not exactly as I imagined. That is what I've come to be called. My true name is lost even to me. Years of torment have taken their toll. Quickly now, we must make haste to the anchor. The anchors are Daedric machines of the darkest magic. Their chains bind our world and pull it towards Cold Harbor. I can use one of these anchors to return us to Tamriel, but you must lead me to it.
insects fight back. How amusing. And yet, so very sad. The Dark Anchor's portal is high above us. I will prepare a spell to lift us to it. But first, you must reattune yourself to Nern in order to regain your physical form. To do this, you will need a Sky Shard. A shard of ethereal magicka that carries the essence of Nern. Some link them to Lorcan, the missing god of creation. If you collect and absorb its power, it should restore your corporeal form. I will summon one of these shards for you to absorb. Fall upon us now and anoint us with your blessing. There, quickly, collect the sky shard. It is time. If we are to return to our own realm, we must act quickly. First, you must activate the anchor. I can sense the dark energy emanating from two devices on either side of me. Activate both devices. I will begin the ritual that will pry open the jaws of oblivion and allow us to escape. There is no way to know for sure. In fact, it's extremely unlikely we will both arrive at the same location. Fear not! I will find you again when the time is right. Now go! Activate the devices! Okay guys, I'm going to leave it here. It looks like we got out of that terrible place we started in, the Wailing Prison. Um, so thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this playthrough.